Hi, Sarah Levin, the Artful Inker here, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today, I thought I would share with you this box that I created using the Barn Door Bundle, and it holds some M&Ms with a cute little um, access point here, so you don't have to open up the, the top of the box to get to your treats. Let's put this together. So first we're going to take our Stampin' Trimmer and a piece of Soft Sky cardstock in landscape and we're going to start scoring at, let me look, make sure I'm lined up here, one, five and three eighths, six and three-eighths, which is right here to the edge of the, the gray trim. And then ten and three-quarters. Then we're going to turn to portrait and score at one, four and a half, and five and a half. Okay, before we start trimming, make sure that the smallest scored section is at the top and that you have two scored sections on the right. We're going to move to this lower of the two score lines and put it in the middle of the track. Let's move my scoring blade out of the way. And you're going to trim to the first line and skip the large section go to the second score line and come all the way up. Then we're going to move this down and put this next score line in the track. And you're going to cut to the first line, skip, and cut all the way up. Let's move the trimmer out of the way. Grab my paper snips and we're going to start trimming away. Now it's time to start and trim away the excess. You're going to cut the tab almost in half and then miter both the top and bottom so that it's easier to tuck and come back and trim this other tab and miter. Then we're going to miter the small side tab and cut away the piece at the bottom come up to this side and miter both edges of that tab. And then the outside tab and miter. The only tab you're not mitering is this center one here which will wrap from the front to the back of the box. So next we want to fold all of the score lines. No need to worry about burnishing. We're folding them at this point just because I'm going to get ready and run this through the big shot and this makes sure our score lines don't disappear on the way through. Now I've also got a second piece here and this will fit right in this box and <coughs> pardon me I'm going to use this die from the um, sliding door framelits and layer it over both of these pieces. And I've got my washi tape to tape it on. And then I need to tuck this piece under as it goes through the big shot so that it's not too wide. And then for our little door on the side, I'm going to use one of the layering squares and pop that right in here also with a piece of washi. I'll be right back after I've run this through the Big Shot so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so my pieces have been cut and we need to just pull the dies off and pop them back over here and push these pieces out. And the 
this is just all scrap. Let me set these aside. Now this piece is strictly to reinforce this since we've cut this extra opening. So I'm going to go to the inside of the box and add multi-purpose liquid adhesive and just add this inside. Okay, just lining up all of the holes, giving it a, okay. Now next, we want to work on the hinges. So my tip for hinges to lighten this up are to use pieces of window sheet and the mini Stampin' Dimensionals. And this is how they're going to work. So instead of using pennies or washers for your sliders, you're going to take a piece of window sheet and make sure it's squared on the, I need another hand, on the back of this, okay? And you don't want to go over your score line in this case. If you're doing a card, you don't have that score line to worry about. And then you're going to pop this in so that your flat sides rather than your pointed sides are, you know what I mean, okay? And then I'm going to turn this again and hold the other end. And same thing, if I can get the dimensional off my finger. Okay, now let's lay this down, pull the st backing off of these. And then we're going to put another piece of window sheet right over top. Now I'm going to do the second one off camera, but that, you'll see, it slides and doesn't, doesn't add any weight to your card or, in this case, box. So, now that we have our sliding pieces in, we need the little window door here. I've got a piece of window sheet and I've added a piece of tear and tape to the bottom and it's conveniently a quarter of an inch because that's the amount that we want to stick down in here and we're just going to press and adhere and then on the inside of the box I have another piece of soft sky and this is going to go right over here and it will protect this slider from whatever you fill your box with so that it can still slide back and forth. It's important to use a foam adhesive strip on this piece as it's twice the height of a Stampin' Dimensional. Okay, so next we need these pieces and our wreath. So I've gone ahead and stamped the Enjoy, and it is from Ready to Pop. Here's the center image, and then this little curly Q and the circle of dots. Could have used the wreath. This would look great on the barn door. So let's adhere that. Little multi-purpose glue. going to tuck this right in under these sliders. Give it a little rub. Now we're ready to pull my door pieces in. Let me reach here. So I have stamped my door already on Smoky Slate with basic gray and then I have a there's a piece in the dies to cut the door that's this piece then we have the track on the top that cuts this piece 
there are two of these dies to cut our little sliders. And then we have a die to cut the door handle. So let's get those adhered. Let me pop all of this out of the way. Add a little bit of multi-purpose glue here. And this is going to go all the way up here at the tippy top, just before the score line. Okay. And where, up oh, here's my little so I went ahead and added my door on top of the sliders. You just add many dimensionals on top of the dimensionals that are already there. And then over here on my little window door, I've added a loop of washi and then adhered it by wrapping another piece of washi around the top. So now I need my wreath for my door and I have stamped that in wild wasabi and soft sky. Let's move this piece out of the way for just a moment. And there are dies for that. So this die cuts the wreath. This die will cut a trio of flowers. And then this die will cut the large center flower and this large flower over here to the right. All of these images are from the barn door stamp set. Let me go cut those and I'll come right back. Okay, so here are my die cut pieces and I'm just going to use some multi-purpose glue and add this one to the front layer overlapping the green flowers and then I want a dimensional one of these mini dimensionals under the center flower and then we're going to set this aside a moment and put our box together so let's fold this in we're going to add multi-purpose glue to this small side tab and then adhere this side, making sure that we're not going over the score line in that tab. Okay, hold it for a minute. Pull it the other way, make sure that we're good and increased and then we're going to fold the bottom pieces in and add multi-purpose glue there and fold this piece across. Now I need to reach down in. Let me grab my scissors here and we're just going to push down with those on the inside. And then I have a little piece that's over the edge here. And so I need to trim that up. Let's tuck these in. And then we'll add the wreath to our door. And I'm going to add dimensionals to that, to the wreath. These minis are fabulous for this little wreath. No cutting. They're just the right size. Oops. But they won't stick if I put backing paper behind them, which I've done here. Yep. Quit fighting with that one. It wins. And one more. So I've got four dimensionals on the back of this. And 
there we go and stick our wreath up here in on the door and then we still have these two little pieces of hardware and we're going to add just a dab of glue and the circle piece needs to sit above the door and another little dab of glue on this one and line it up over here and there you have it so little barn door treat box thanks for stopping by I'm Sarah Levin the artful anchor you can find me at theartfulinker.com and I will have a download for you with all of the measurements Thanks. You can find the link for the blog post in the description for the video below. Bye. Have a great day.